back to another episode of Otis in the Outdoors. Along with me today on today's uh, special hunt here is my good friend and longtime drinking buddy, Billy Bob Ripton. Hey, Billy. Hey. Today we have the special pleasure of hunting on some of the finest land this side of the Mississippi, thanks to our good friends at TNT Lodges, Timmy and Tom. Experienced hunters know and trust TNT Lodges. Well, I sure am excited about today's hunt. How about you? Oh, I'm raring to go. Today we're going to be hunting the elusive shepherd. But before we get things underway, we're going to take a look at some of the equipment and make sure we follow those safety guidelines to ensure that we've got a really good, clean hunt here today. Uh, what do we got going on here? Well, we got us some guns. We got ammo, camo. We got a cooler. Definitely got that cooler. And Timmy and Tommy have those decoys set up. That's what y'all you can ask here. What kind of camo do we have today? We have Otis brand camo, made in the USA. That's right. Timmy, tell me. Boy, look at you got some good structure here. Yeah, look right here. We get a lot of shepherd here, you can see. You can see where the branches are bent here. Yeah. See some good tracks. There's some crook marks. Got a little scud right here. Yeah. How much farther we gotta go? Uh, we're gonna be coming out on the other side of those trees. Alright guys. Keep it going. Come on, Billy Bob. I tell you what, it's been way too long. You've done a really nice job. I'll tell you, look at this. Now we set the deeks up right up there. See up there in that clearing? That's excellent. You get a good shot. No, it's going to be clean. We're upwind of them. One of the things about getting proper placement of your decoys is critical to a good hunt. Timmy and Tommy have done a hell of a job getting this stuff set up. We got some good cover. I think it's going to be nice. Let's get set up and quiet down. Thanks again, Timmy and Tommy. As I mentioned earlier, deke placement is critical to a good hunt. Now, I notice you fellas got quite an array of decoys out here. Just kind of curious why you got so many. Well, one thing you got to keep in mind, you got to create a believable uh, manger scene, okay? And this here is the nativity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So you got to have enough here to make it believable, but not too many. It's a delicate balance, right? So how, so how they're laid out is really important. Right. And, and there's two keys right here It's going to bring them shepherd. And first of all, the placement of the baby Jesus. Right here. Should okay. be right about in the middle. Perfect. All Perfect. right. All right. And the other thing is a sheep, okay? The right cry of the baby. Guys. Yeah, the sheep right there. Okay. The cry of the baby Jesus is going to bring them shepherd, and they're going to hear that. And they're going to see them sheep. Okay. And it's, that's almost too much for them to Good resist. Good you Remember that? Get that sheep in there nice and close. It's really key. Thank you, dear. One other key point that I might add is something that we didn't set up just to show you on purpose. Uh, what we need here is that Virgin Mary. Nope. Virgin Mary needs to be close to the baby Jesus because, of course, yeah, she was his mother. There we go. And, uh, right in there, Mary. Boy, I tell you, that's something a novice could mess up on real easy. So when you're setting out your decoys, remember, baby Jesus, sheep, and get that mother Mary and rice nice and close there, you're going to get a good hunt. Timmy, tell me I can't thank you guys enough. Boy, this is a hell of a setup. Let's go get set up now. God, sorry. By the way, did you bring any of that Otis brand scent blocker? Hell yeah, it's gonna get them good. Okay. Timmy and Tommy have those deeks set up real good. We better call something in close. One of my favorite mouth read calls is this number 227. It's also available on Otis brand camel. Proper placement on the tongue is key, and it's critical to getting them in real close, so make sure you wet that back of the mouth and get it in there good. Now, one of the things you do want to remember when you're calling in that first call is not to sound like you're in distress. Just one or two quick clucks, then follow that up with a nice, clean cry. Just like that. That's nice. It's real nice. That's gonna bring him in. I think I see one now. Got it? Oh, look. Look, he's checking out my deep. Sit down. Sit down. He's coming in. Hey, 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 hey. Get him. Get him. Get down. Get down. Oh, wait. That there's a wise man. How can you tell? He's bearing gifts and he's got a turban on. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think he's doing? He's going to check out those deeks, definitely. They're going to come in real close. Just let him drop off the gift, and we'll get him out of there. Yeah, look at that. He's coming in close. Look at that. He'll drop. Yeah, he's cautious. That's all right, though. Look at that. Isn't he pretty? Oh, he is a beauty. Look at that. He's going to drop off those gifts. We can't let him stay too long. What you can do when you're out here sometimes is you can use the, the, the dial on your watch, and that'll act like the Star of Bethlehem. you got to catch him in the eyes, though. If you don't have that, though, Use a, use a compact to your wife's oh, or something. Yeah, like that. that's a good idea. But just don't lose a sponge or she'll bitch. Damn right. Okay. Oh, here he's dropped off the gift. Yeah, look, I'm gonna catch him right in the eyes. You got him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now to the east, to the east. Here you go. Come on. Go. Go, yeah. 
He's gone. Oh, that's a beauty. He's torn. Look at that. He doesn't know where to stay or go to the star. He'll go to that star. Uh, there is one magi who's going to live to see another day. He's pretty. Key is, you cannot take a wise man. At least it's until uh, December 26th. That's right. Yeah, it looks like I didn't lose that sponge. Yeah, wife will be happy about that. You got that right. Hey, here comes Tommy right now. All right. The deeks have all been reset. All right. One of the things that uh, Tommy and I talked about earlier is, when we were placing our manger scene there is we always like to incorporate three wise men. Now, wise we, men generally travel in packs of threes as was recorded in the book of Luke. Right. So you figure you put three wise men out there, any other wise men wandering by won't bother to come in, right? But uh, Now that one looked kind of young to you, didn't it? Yeah, he wasn't too wise yet, so that's why he came in. That's all right. Well, as you can see, setting up those decoys is, is just critical. And uh, we got them now set for a shepherd. Is that right? That's right. All right. So we'll sit tight. Looks like we're gonna get us a shepherd soon. We just gotta stay good and quiet. He'll come in close. I know they're around here. Hey, I see one. Oh, right there. Yeah, I spot one. Here he's coming. Oh, he's a beauty. Yeah, look at the size of that crook. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be a Boone and Crockett right there. Yeah. He will look good on a mantle. Look at that. Now he's cautious. That's normal. Look at that. He's gonna come in real close. He's definitely spotted the deeks. He spooked out. He spooked. It's okay, though. He's coming in. Now, typically what he'll do is he's going to go near that baby Jesus. Now, oh, hey, he sees the lamb. Yeah. That's because those lambs lay at the feet of baby Jesus. That's right. Here he goes. He's going to get in close. Yeah, he's got it. Hey, he spotted the sheep. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. He found us out. Let him up! Bring that crook in there nice and low. Got it. Thanks, Timmy. All right. Once again, I'd like to thank TNT Lodges, Timmy and Tommy, for just one incredible hunt. Oh, bang up job. It just doesn't get any better than this. Woo! I tell you, when you're out here and you got good structure, good land, good decoys, you just, you got to go away excited, and that's what this is all about. Oh, yeah. So you stay put, and you join us next week, and we're going to go out hunting some sumo. Oh, yeah. You can feed your whole family on one of them. <laughs> He's got that right. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us on Otis and the Outdoors.